today is another Pilates day. So I just got dressed and I'm trying to think if I have time for coffee here or if I should just make some in a to-go cup. I should probably do that so I'm not late. Let me do that now. We're trying out the new Gucci's for, for Pilates today. This is a look, huh? All right, I got back from Pilates and just, you know, got ready and I'm about to sit down and film. I, this video may actually go up after this vlog, so, <laughs> so we'll see. I may be ruining the surprise here, but I'm going to, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm actually a little bit nervous because this doesn't always turn out well, but I'm going to curl my hair. Uh, show you guys how I do it with such long hair. Not that my method is that unique or anything. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna sit down and film. Just finished filming a couple of videos. I did like a get ready with me and then I did a like hair tutorial, my first one ever. So I'm sure it's awkward as hell. <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. Good morning, guys. I realized I didn't vlog at all this morning. I um, got up, you know, pretty early, my regular sometime between 4 and 5 a.m. and I took uh, the butters to school and then I came home and just got ready to start filming and I thought I haven't done any vlogging so I am about to start filming. My day is actually fairly exciting today. I'm gonna meet my parents for lunch and then Later on tonight, I'm actually meeting Risa of Risa Does Makeup and Lori Hill for dinner. We're gonna hit Zuma at the Cosmo and I will definitely, definitely be vlogging that. So I just had uh, lunch with my parents. I am so, like so full, so uncomfortably full. I actually had to lean my car seat back a little bit, <laughs> but it was so good. I had a crab, like eggs Benedict. Oh my God, it was amazing. It was this place at the stove in Henderson, which is like the big suburb um, of Las Vegas. So I thought while I'm over here, because there's like a huge, like busy strip here with like a bunch of stores and stuff. I'm gonna go to this big, it's called At Home, and it's <laughs> it's like a plane hanger sized store of stuff. It's like, it's almost like a gigantic home goods. I feel like they're owned by a very large brand and I don't know who. In fact, I've never actually been in one of these stores. I've always just driven by and have been completely like intrigued by it, but I've just, I've never needed to. So what I'm looking for is a very big floor length mirror. I want one that just kind of like leans up against my wall so it can't be too light or flimsy. And um, yeah, I just, I don't have a floor length mirror. Gigantic mirrors. Let's see. I, I don't know. I just don't like. Ugh, no. Oh no. 
has more frame than mirror. <laughs> hmm. Oh, made from recycled materials. I just want like a simple, normal frame, but they seem to only have them with mirrors that are smaller. Like this frame. I do. But you can't, you can't see my head. I mean, unless I, st I guess I stand far enough away. Or I could prop the mirror on something. It doesn't have to sit on my floor. Oh my God. Okay, that was a bust. <laughs> no mirrors for me. And I'm like exhausted just looking at all that stuff. That was a lot of shit. That was a lot of shit in there. Um, so I was thinking, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll go to Home Goods. Maybe I'll go to Target. I think I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I think I may go home and make some coffee. I'm so sleepy from that lunch and I'm completely overwhelmed from that store. So I think I'm just gonna go home. Yeah, I think I'm so used to online shopping that like when I go into a store like that, I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. What is all this stuff? So overwhelming. Hello, I just came back from my little at home trip and my uh, lunch with my parents and I came home to a bunch of boxes. So I thought I would open them up with you. I only know what one is. Let's open that one up first. It's actually something I ordered, but these other ones, I'm not exactly sure where they're from. So, okay, that's not it. Which is the one? Okay, this is the one that I ordered. So this is from Giorgio Armani. I ordered the Luminous Silk Concealer and I'm really curious as to whether or not the shade is gonna work for me. So everything comes wrapped really nicely. I don't know why a concealer comes in such a giant box, just, just this concealer. So I did get shade 4.5. Here is the box. It looks like a lipstick actually. And in fact, this is basically their like lip gloss or liquid lipstick case. So I'm excited and I think this is a good shade for that. All right, next up, again, it's, it's so weird. There's like no from information which is so strange. So there's like this rose colored velvet bag and I know who uses velvet bags. Yes, this is something from Kipris. They, oh, this is so exciting. They have just come out with an eye cream. So many of you have asked me for like eye cream recommendations and I do love the Sicily Eye and Lip Contour Cream. I use that a lot. I've used the La Prairie. That one was okay, I don't necessarily think I saw any difference uh, with that one, and I am really enjoying the Clay de Peau one. I can't remember the name because it's extremely long, but it's something like maybe like an eye contour cream, something like that. So I've been using the Sicily and the Clay de Peau, but you guys know I love Kipris, and so when they mentioned they were coming out with an eye cream, I was so, so excited. So it's called Ad Astra uh, Nighttime Eye Cream Emulsion. So it comes in their like cobalt blue packaging, which like their serums come in. And let's see, this is basically a half of an ounce, 14 mils. And I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna use this tonight, so I'm just gonna open this up right now. There's like zero fragrance, which is awesome. And it looks like the texture of it is quite like silky. It doesn't look too dense, which is really nice. I'm always afraid something that's too thick is gonna give me Melia. So, ooh, I'm excited for this. I will report back on this for sure. And then, yeah, another one with no from information. It's, it's really, it's really odd. Oh, this is something I ordered myself from Nordstrom. They usually say it's from Nordstrom on here, but no, no info. So I ordered the YSL um, three, what is this called? 3D All Over Glow Powder. I talked about this in one of my Will I Buy It's and I was, you know, interested in this. It's an illuminating powder and there's only one universal shade. And I was just really curious about that because I'm like, how's that gonna work? So, ooh, ooh, I like this compact. It's like a baby pink compact. It's hard plastic. And here's the back. There's a bunch of holes in the back. I don't know what that is about. It is magnetic. And then here is the powder. I actually saw Everyday Edit talk about this powder. So I'm just really curious if it's gonna work for my skin tone. Ooh, nice. I don't know if you guys are gonna see that in this lighting. I'll definitely use this um, in a video soon, but there's like a little bit of color, probably less than what appears in here, but it's really pretty. Ooh, that's nice. And then the sheen to it is like a very subtle kind of highlight. Next, we have this beautiful red metallic bubble mailer. 
the label's like all like worn off. I'm not sure. Okay, <laughs> let's just go ahead and open it. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is from Alori. This is the like makeup tool company that was started by um, two women. And I know one is Ripley. If you guys ever watch Stephanie Nicole, I don't think she really makes that many videos anymore, unfortunately, here on YouTube. But her very good friend, uh, Ripley, would appear on her channel every once in a while. And she and, oh, I wish I could remember the other woman's name. Anyway, they started uh, this Alori company and they have like brushes and tools and like soaps and stuff. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Let me open all these up and show you. So here is the packaging for the brushes. So it says Alori collection and then there's like a little heart down here. All right, so they sent me four brushes, which is their everything brush set. So all these brushes are synthetic haired. I don't know where they're made. It doesn't say on the brush or on their packaging. Let's see. There's probably more information on their website, which is alloricollection.com. I'll put it down below in the description box. But this is the first brush that I opened. This is Finishing Touch. So this is like a really big, I don't know, almost like a modified fan brush because it almost comes to more of a point and it's really fluffy and light at the top. Like the bristles are really like staggered and it's, you know, fairly flat, very soft. Oh, and then there's like a lorry stamped into the ferrule here. Really nice, really nice. And there's like a nice like weight to these. And here is the winged complexion brush. This actually reminds me of like a Scott Barnes brush. If I remember correctly, yeah, I think he has one that's like shaped like this. And I really like that one. That's That one is probably one of my favorites from his uh, collection. So I am excited to give this a shot. And then here is the Lush Powder Brush. And this is really cool because it's oval. It's not exactly round, the ferrule. It's oval. And then it's pretty long, these bristles, but they don't feel too floppy. So this is really interesting. I can't wait to try this one too. And then last but not least, we have the Smooth Canvas. Ooh, this is a really dense, kind of like domed kabuki style brush, but it's angled. Ooh, that is really neat. So this is the Smooth Canvas brush. Ooh, so awesome. And I mentioned they also make like uh, brush soaps. So this is a goat's milk brush cleanse and I have the grapefruit flower scent. Oh wow, look at the color. I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be white. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells just like grapefruit. Ooh, I love that. Oh, I can't wait to try all this stuff out. Huge thank you to Alori Collection for sending over their set and their soap and everything just looks so beautiful. Thank you so much. Kind of sit back and like relax a little bit and then try and edit a video to go up for tomorrow and uh, and then meet Risa and Lori for dinner. I'm so excited, even though I'm still full at this moment from brunch. That's it, I will see you guys for dinner. Hey guys, I am getting ready to uh, pick up Lori. Uh, Lori and I actually live in the same neighborhood. So I'm gonna pick her up and then we're gonna meet Risa over at the Cosmo. We're going to Zuma for sushi, I'm so excited. So I just wanted to show you what I had on. Nothing, nothing too fancy. <laughs> I just threw this coat on because it gets really chilly here at night. Um, so this is a Harris Wharf coat that I got in New York a couple years ago, but I saw this brand actually pop up on Nordstrom. So I was really excited for that. It's just like wool felt, like that's it. No lining, nothing fancy. It's pretty basic, which is what I think I really love about it. And this is just like this light gray color and it's dropped shoulder. So it's just really easy to wear. And then I have this black shirt. It's almost like a camp shirt. It has like these flat pockets here, but I love these like oversized faux tortoise buttons. I think the shirt is from H&M. And then I just have my Gucci flat slides on. These are the best lazy person shoes in the entire world. They're really comfortable. They're just great. And then these are the bottom of my pants. So they are pretty wide leg. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they are pretty wide leg. And that's it. I almost forgot. I'm just gonna bring my Chanel 19 bag. I would probably switch this over to a more evening type bag because this one's kind of big, but uh, I ran out of time. So <laughs> that's it. That's the
So we just made it to the Cosmo. We're heading our way over to Zuma. I'm here with Lori. Hi. Are you in it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna meet Risa, and I think we're actually on time. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, yes. surprise. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Oh my god. And that's the espresso martini? Yeah. I am having a Yoshinura. It is ginger, mint, lime, and soda. It just sounded so refreshing. I need to go here again. <laughs> Risa's here! Hey girl! Look at her dress! Girls are Hot out. mama! The girls are out! <laughs> girls, are, girls, are, girls are taped in though. With extra bonus tape in the... First. The girls are here to party. Okay, yeah. we have to take a look at this restaurant. It's so beautiful. Good morning. <laughs> My hair looks extra special crazy, which is what happens after I like gel it back. And I apologize, the vlogging really um, ended quite abruptly yesterday because my battery died. <laughs> I need to get an extra battery for this camera uh, because that keeps happening at uh, inopportune moments. So it is Saturday morning. I am um, just sitting here, sipping some coffee. I have an Orange Theory fitness class at 7.45, so I've gotta get ready soon and go. Um, I just fed the butters. Little Miss Cutie Pie herself. So, gonna get ready for Orange Theory workout, and then I actually have a really fun day planned. Um, Jenna Fraze, who is a YouTuber, from Canada. She is actually here in Vegas. So I'm going to meet up with her at the Bellagio. We're going to have some brunch and then maybe do some shopping. She's kind of like a handbag junkie like myself. So she was like, we have to go shopping together. I'm like, okay. So yeah, that's going to be the afternoon. So I will see you guys later. Guys, guess who I'm here with? Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Ah, we've got Jennifer. <laughs> yes, 
straight from Canada. So why are you in town? Okay, well, my husband. No, that's okay. okay. My husband is at a conference, but I mostly came to see you. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> So we are here at Spago, and um, it's one of my favorite restaurants in Vegas. The food is so good, um, and they have a different like lunch and dinner menu, and all of it is good. All of it. Jenna was just asking me for like a recommendation. I was like, oh, anything, anything on the menu. Woo! Our food just arrived. So I got the salmon pizza. So excited. And Jenna got the. What do we call this? The Spagatini. Spagatini. It almost looks like a teeny tiny fettuccine, right? It's flat. It does. We were trying to figure out what it was. Yeah. So I'm like, isn't spaghettini like capellini? But you yeah. know, it's like small fettuccine. It, it looks, looks delicious. like homemade. What do you guys think of this? I kind of like how gaudy it is. <laughs> so Jenna's on the hunt for a boy bag. But we think the velvet maybe is not practical enough. No. Yeah. This color in the leather would exactly. have been just... Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that, that dustiness yeah. is really pretty. Yeah. yeah. It's meant to have a shorter drop. Kind of a tomboy, feminine, masculine style. This is right. It's not meant to be long. Plus, if you wear it on the shoulder, it's not too large. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it doesn't really have double strap. Right. Now, you can wear it several different ways. You can pull it up and wear it on the shoulder. You can wear it shorter. Okay. You can also wrap this around the body of the bag and just yeah. wrap it on the shoulder. And then it dresses it up. Yeah. So yeah. It's very versatile. Oh, I think because I'm used to the dropping. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But see, this doesn't look awkward. No, no, no. This is good. It's meant to kind of be worn like this, where it's kind of sporty, a little bit edgy, oh, yeah. you know. So it's got it's like an angle. It's like I said, feminine, masculine kind yeah. of blend. The other thing that's very cool about this is it's the chevron style, yeah. which we don't do all the time. And um, Chanel was the first to do the chevron design as fashion versus interior design. So it's a big part of it. Right, right. I also like. That it's the caviar. It's a caviar, so it's very resilient. You know, yeah. it's a deep enough color that you don't have to bake it quite as much. So you can so make it a little bit longer. Oh, you're going to get that. like another inch. It's not okay. tremendous. Okay. But see, like I said, because you can wear it like this, they don't make the drop super long. Right. Okay. And then, like I said, one of my other favorite ways to wear it if you're going to dinner and you want to dress it up is like that. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just kind of like I say, gives it a different look, a little bit more um, you know, dressier than you know, more casual. Hey guys, I just got back from the strip and hanging out with Jenna and it was so much fun. She ended up getting that uh, pink Chanel boy bag and yeah, and it was so great. She was so excited and um, Kim, who helps us at the Chanel at the Bellagio is so 
wonderful. Like she always spends all this time with me and usually I don't end up leaving with anything and she just is so patient. She just loves talking about Chanel and kind of hanging out with us and she's just sweet. She's just really, really sweet. So anyway, Jenna was really, really happy with her bag. She was so excited. She just, the pink looks so good on her. So I'm glad that she had a good time. And yeah, I'm home now. I have to, I need to change out of this shirt before I get it dirty because it's just all white.